Hey, how's it going? My name is John and I go by Fall Row. Hit that intro. Alright, we are back with some more Black Ops. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. There's a link to the Discord in the description and my Spotify page if you want to check that out. Alright, let's get into this. Let's resume game. After you escaped, you were assigned to Jason Hudson of the CIA. How could he trust you when he knew that I'm so glad that this was recommended. I love this game so much. I don't know how many of the Black Ops games uh, you guys would want me to play. But I'll play literally anything that you guys recommend. So if you want to recommend anything, leave it in the Discord. They knew I wouldn't break, and I won't break now. Let's get ready. Oh, I'm so happy to be playing this. Others are supposed to kill. Trying to keep my mouse off the screen as much as I can. Let's do this shit. I'm so ready. Oh, I'm excited. Ever since I did that first video, I'm like obsessed again and I'm like, oh, I can't wait to start playing this over and over again. <laughs> November 10th, 1963. You were cleared for duty and summoned to the Pentagon. Jason Hudson was my new handler. This uh, is it. It's so interesting seeing this. Hudson couldn't tell me. When you know the twist, if you don't, I won't spoil it. But the twist makes this game so much different. If you don't know the twist, go back and watch this whole playthrough again when you do. It's it changes the entire story. It's so crazy. Secretary McNamara. Your reputation precedes. Easily one of the best Call of Duty campaigns. Oh hell yeah. Kick ass music. Nothing less than our national security is at stake. He has no fear. It is kinda wild no that they're letting him see any of this stuff. No weakness. This is Nikita Drogovich. Oh, we knew who he is. we know exactly who he is. All right, McNamara. Lucky to have you back, Mason. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm so hyped. Is there really a a, a sign on the freeway that says VIP. Pentagon on it? I've never driven through that area, so I don't know. And watching me. I don't remember this cutscene at all. This is crazy. Sometimes even yourself. That's why we're here, Mason. The finest people in the world, right here, 24/7. God, this is so good. We were watching you the whole time. It's not possible. I was in the Pentagon. Please tell him we're here. At once, sir. I don't remember who the interrogator is supposed to be. That's pretty interesting. Distinguished heroes. I kept hearing numbers. I couldn't get them out of my head. Area. God, it's so crazy. I, I haven't seen these yeah, moments in this game for so long. I haven't played this in years and years, so it's like, oh man. So crazy. The nerve center. I believe I'm correct in saying that civilization has been saved more than once. Ah, I love these games. I don't know what's felt like I was in a dream. Step two. Ascend from darkness. Step three. Rain fire. You were getting close to your objective. It was working. <laughs> it never gets old. Overwhelming, isn't it? Not yet. Oh shit. 
Sycorax. This inner sanctum was built in 1943. We rarely use it. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Good luck, Mason. Mr. President? Agent Mason. Great honor, Mr. President. Sick. Oh shit, it's Kennedy. We are in great oh, danger from communists. There's so much I'd never noticed before when I played this. This is why I love replaying games later in life. It makes such a difference. I'm told that you are the very best that we have. Anywhere. You will need to be. Mr. Mason. Take care of it. Executive order, Operation Flashpoint. Rip out the heart of their space program. Eradicate their long-range missile project. Take out the Ascension Group. I'm so the ready. Scientists co-opted by the Russians after the war. Yes, he needed their knowledge. What they'd learned. Operation Ford hit planet a double agent working with the Ascension Group. Anchor Grohe Weaver. His mission was to sabotage the rocket. There's something went wrong, Mason. I can't get these fucking numbers out of my head. Why did they censor the subtitles? That's an interesting choice. I don't think I've ever noticed that before either. That's pretty fascinating. Why would they do that? That's got to be like for a reason in this game. Or, I guess they maybe they just really were, like, not into But the game is, like, rated M, isn't it? So, like, why not just... That's so weird. Why did they do that? Whatever. Let, not, don't question it. If there's anything I've learned about these games, is just don't question it. Sit back and enjoy it. Except for... Well, I guess except for this game. <laughs> the Black Ops games in particular were, like, a lot of theorizing and... Thinking about like what does this all mean? Like I remember that era. That was really strange for me. That <laughs> it's like that was because Call of Duty games never had that kind of stuff. And then Black Ops really changed like what this genre of gaming could be in a way. They like really did a lot with this story, and I'm kind of surprised by it. They did such a good job. I wish they did more campaigns like this that were actually, like, interesting written stories and, like, cool twists and, like, you don't get stuff like, like, you get like this and, like, Spec Ops The Line and then so many of these, like, military, like, you know, FPS campaigns and stuff, they're not usually this interesting, which is kind of sad. Because they've shown that there's so many interesting things they Maybe could do. Here. See what's out there. They're at final countdown. There's Soyuz 2. Scheduled to launch 10 minutes after Soyuz 1. If there are any, definitely leave a comment down below and let me know if there's like other games in this kind of genre of FPS games and I'd be willing to check them out for sure. Damn, it's Weaver. I feel like I haven't gotten to play a lot of them. Who the fuck is this? Uh, you know what? Even if I have played it, fuck it. I'll do it for a video or for a stream. Why not? This is your only warning. There's nothing we can do, Mason. Weaver's done, but no. Your choice. This is not good. Uh, sorry, Weaver. Let's do this, Woods. Jack 
Chopper's inbound! Move it! Follow me and keep moving. That's the plan, Woods. It always is. What do you mean he'll take the one on the ground? I assume he means the one that's kneeling, but... What a weird way to phrase that. It's so risky. There's so many people around. And there's helicopters and shit. The fact that we got away with that's insane. Was saving Weaver more important to you than your objective to kill Dragovich? Weaver was Russian. <laughs> he was alright. Hope your time for Kuda helps your Russian, Mason. We're fucking better. We gotta save Weaver. Oh, interesting. They even switched the gun to a Russian gun. Or to a... Not Russian, to uh, hey, an enemy gun. Is it Russian? Whatever. You know what I mean. That's the kind of details that I find interesting in games like this. Like, they actually took the time to switch it to an enemy's gun. Yeah, we'll just walk away from the bodies like nothing happened. We had nothing to do with it. Just head up, eyes forward. Nobody saw anything. I'm ready, Woods. Clear his floor before we move up. I'll shut down the camera. Yeah, yeah. Go. Oh. I like how I said I was ready and then immediately got shot in the back because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Insane. Yep. Thanks for the update. I'm well aware I'm being shot at. Oop, wrong button. I thought that was a sign to something else. get the drop on me. That's my bad. Got 
There we go. You just have to learn the patterns of where they're going to show up at. And it's that easy. Mason! Mason, get over here. Crossbow, explosive bolts, now! I don't know how we found that. That shit was just sitting here? Enemy moving in from the north. We're pinned down. We got company. Alright. Oh, what? I thought I blew up the truck. Oh, I stuck him. Get fucked. Before I was trying to take some. Those assholes on the way back. I secure the line. You take the shot. Make it quick, Mason. Let's go. Go, go, go! Weaver! I got you, Weaver. Don't worry, buddy. Clear right, clear left. You able to continue on mission, Weaver? Let's do it. Did you sabotage the guidance system? I was compromised. Yes, with through being subtle. Move to plan B. There may still be time to abort the launch. We need to get to the auxiliary control bunker. You saved his life. Now you have to locate the ascension group and kill the scientists. No. I had to kill. Dragovich. Dragovich is going down. We've made. Move the Balakavas. Oh. I didn't go over. Wrap your ass. We got a fight on our hands. Oh boy. Get me up. Oh, I didn't even realize I was on a timer. Oh, no. Oh, that's going to stress me out so bad. Oh, okay, that's fair. Whatever. I hate being on a timer more than anything. I hate it so much. Ooh. Going crazy. No. Ah, oh, fuck you. Why? Why were you there? Go away. Interesting. I didn't know that he would yell... Uh, kill confirmed. That's pretty interesting. God, I love... My favorite thing in any video game is the little details that are put in. That are, like, unnecessary, but make the experience way better for me. That's the kind of shit that I love. Stay down. Oh, get away. Oh, that was close. Good thing this game has auto heal. Just die. Why did he have <laughs> dual pistols? Like, that was gonna be a good idea. Oh, we made it just in time. Alright, everybody, let's do this. Yeah, fuck this wall. Go! 
Go, go, go! We have to destroy the rocket, no matter what. And he just killed a bunch of scientists. It's too late, I can't stop it! Plan B, Bowman, set it up! This will do it! What are we doing? Load, Mason! Now! Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh my god. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh shit. Everything's going crazy. Move! Run! Get out of my way! Your body's on fire and it's inconveniencing me. This is one of those things that is in every Call of Duty game, but I never do, is like, they specifically lay out weapons that would be good for this part that you're- that you have coming up, and then I never use them. I only ever use the guns that are like given to me at the start of the mission. But the game is literally designed in a way that to, to give you weapons that are for the upcoming spot, and I never do it. So I'm trying to do that as much as I can. No one sneaks out that back door. Mason and Weaver, you're on me. Oh, Woods! Are you okay? It was like right, right in the way of the fucking grenade. Those two are down. I think we're safe to move up. Let's go. At least on harder difficulties, they don't make it like too much, too bad. Cause like a little bit ago we were on a timer, but now we're not. So we could really take our time and be careful about this. Which I think makes for such a different experience in a Call of Duty game, instead of like, run and gun, it's like, be a bit more tactical and aware of your positioning. And like, who's where, and stuff. Like, that kind of stuff you don't get a lot in most Call of Duty games, it feels like. Or at least not for a while. Some of the newer ones, it's a bit better about it. Blew that motherfucker's hand off. I'm almost out of ammo. I'm gonna have to switch soon. Like I was just saying. We're going dual mag. Yeah, show yourself, you cowards. Tango 
moving up. Come on. Whoa! Who the fuck just shot me? I got shot from behind somehow. Let's go around, try and flank him a bit. Okay. I think we're good. There. Oh. There's always more. There's always more. Oh, checkpoint. Hell yeah, now we can be a bit reckless. Oh, sorry, Woods. Is there anything in here, like a secret, maybe? No? Okay. It was worth checking, just in case. Oh my god. Oh god, I died. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to look in the little room. Okay. Yeah, come through here with your gas mask. See if that works for you. Okay. Tell me oh God. Here. Not yet. We're going after Dragovich. We're losing them again. Stay with me, Mason. The numbers, Mason. Chinko escaped before we could get to him. You were getting close. Dragovich was there. We searched the whole base. We couldn't find the bastard this anywhere. This is a waste of time. He's delusional. And then we ran into Dragovich's limo. I had him. Satisfied, Mason. No. no, not yet. Not until I see the body. Dragovich, did you confirm the kill? Trust me. That rat bass is a fucking charcoal briquette. Oh, shit. Interesting. Okay. God, this game is so good. I know I'm not talking as much in this these videos because it takes so much for me to focus, but I'm loving this so much. Somehow I knew Dragovich was still alive. He became your obsession. You spent the next five years trying to track him down. He was... He, he was... He was everywhere! Just, I couldn't get him out of my head. He's just like the others. So much shit. He doesn't even know what he's saying. Just, just always in my head. No, I want to keep pressing you. Hey! Who are you people? What do you want from me? We want the numbers, Mason. That's all we've ever wanted. God, man. This game is so good. Take us back again, Mason. After biking one, where did Washington send you next? I'm having such a fun time replaying this. 
fucking case on. See, what am I- that's what I'm talking about. Why are the subtitles- Censor, I don't get that. It was recon on covert Russian activity in Laos. What about your CIA handler, Hudson? Was he in case on? Do you remember him there? Hudson. <laughs> and Mr. Shades. A guy with an ice cube. Oh, man. All right. God, I forgot how good this story is. This is the second. But for now, I think this is a good time to leave off. So I'm going to get going. But thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And I hope I see you in the next one. Later. I mean, I mean, we just trying to chill. <laughs>